Good evening. We're going to get started. We're going to start by introducing our eighth grade students. Addison Sharon. Eric Evans. Colton Garnett Hemingway. Christina Hall. James Healy. Carmen Holloway. Jesse Kiblin. Danica Murdo. Riley Pitchard. Benjamin Schacht. Stephen Samard. William Samard. Jaden Stryker. Sierra Valley. Ariana Werner. Ryan Whitney. Suki Sang. James Bartow. Hayden's Beck. Cadence Buckingham. Damian Cronin. Bryn Frosch. Liam Lambert. Nicholas Manley. Lucy McClay. Grace O'Brien. Taylor Willett. Matthew Palmer. Emma Reed. Kaylin Ross. Melody Smith. Nadia Solid. William Suhaki Soborski. Bruce Brooke Whitcomb. Sorry. Lily Woodbury. Eileen Battaglia. Sawyer Bouchard. Connor Broussard. Grayson Cahoon. Eben Charlone. Brody Cleveland. Rayana Covey. Ethan Holdridge. Gracie Johnson. Aiden Kelly. Tegan Lightfoot. Abigail Peters. Autumn Pearson. Tucker Pearson. 
Luis Torres. Kayla Bond. Eliza Bull. Hannah Daniels. Griffin Delisle. Kendrick Edwards. Oren Gallagher. Honor Hagelberg. Owen Halliday. Owen Kaltzis. Jack Kidd. Charles McGarvey. Samuel Moritz. Annalise Strong. We would also like to recognize the following eighth grade students who are not attending in person today. Violet Duby, Jahan Rashidi, Mackenzie Noak, Liam Richardson, Madison Smith, Matlock Staines. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and remain, st and remain standing for the National Anthem. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Just a quick PSA before we get started. Please wear your mask over your mouth and nose when walking around. You may remove your mask while seated. Thank you for your cooperation. Welcome grade eight Bobcat students, families, and friends. Welcome GBS staff. What a year. I cannot express to you how grateful I am for each and every one of you sitting out there tonight, those of you in person and those tuning in online. You have all welcomed me into this community, both as a resident of Antrim and the principal at Greatbrook Middle School. When I accepted this position, I did not envision my first year as the principal at GBS to be in the midst of a global pandemic. I did not imagine that I would go a whole year without seeing some of our students or staff in person. I did not fathom how difficult this year would be or the number of obstacles we would need to overcome, sometimes on a daily basis. 
And I underestimated how welcoming, collaborative, resilient, and graceful the entire GBS community is. Thank you to parents, teachers, and students for your support, kindness, courage, and perseverance this year. But tonight is not about me. It is about celebrating the 70 amazing human beings that make up the eighth grade community here at Great Brook School. Eighth graders, tonight we recognize that you have faced incredible challenges. Over and over and over, you have risen to the occasion. You know what it means to overcome struggle. You have excelled as writers and mathematicians, as musicians and dancers, as artists of all kinds. You have succeeded as athletes and as scientists. You produce a high quality morning show. You demonstrated your ability to read and interpret historical fiction, fictional and narrative texts. You grew socially and emotionally. And you did this during a global pandemic. You can do anything and you will. No matter what path you choose, reach high. Some of you will continue in our district at Conval High School. Some of you will go on to other schools. Wherever you are next year, have the courage and confidence to take yourself seriously as a student, as an athlete, as a musician, as a citizen. Follow your passion and blaze a path for yourself. You are at the end of something wonderful and the beginning of something transformational. As you continue on your journey, please remember there are so many caring adults in your lives. Look out to this audience and notice who is here to support you. Think about how many times and in how many ways they have supported you until this point. Whether it was getting you out of bed in those dark winter mornings, helping you with your homework, making sure your internet was connected for yet another Zoom call, driving you to school every day this year, giving you a hug when you had a bad day, or celebrating your successes. These people, your family and friends, have been there for you. Please honor them with a round of applause. Now, have a look at your teachers. They're over there in the corner. Some of them have been here for decades. Some have just joined us this year. Some of them you barely know, and others might feel like family to you. What I have come to know this year about each of them is that they have poured their hearts into making your time here at GBS more than just about academics. They were instrumental in creating the Bobcat community that we can all feel and that has helped shape who you are as a person. Take a moment and share your appreciation for all they have done for you. Finally, take some time this summer to unplug. Through no fault of your own, you have been staring into devices for the past 15 months. Go outside. Enjoy being with your friends and family. Your next journey starts tomorrow. Make the most of every second. Thank you. I'd like to call up Steve Roy, Paul Bolduc, and Sue Ketchum for the presentation of the American Legion Award. Hello. So the American Legion Award, 
Youth are, are often awarded for their scholastic achievements, but the American Legion believes that they should also be praised when they demonstrate strong qualities of character and good citizenship. That's why, since 1926, the Legion has recognized such students with its school award medal program. And since 1921, the school awards medal program has been organized for the purpose of instilling character and helping perpetuate the ideals of Americanism amongst the youth. The award is given to a boy or a girl in the graduating classes of elementary school and junior and senior high school and even college. And those who receive a medal must exemplify six qualities that define character. Courage, honor, leadership, patriotism, scholarship, and service. Candidates for the award are voted upon by the school's faculty and each awardee receives a certificate and a medal with six qualities listed on the face of the medal as the back bears the Marine Corps motto, Semper Fidelis, always faithful. A person's character is not formed in a week, a month. It's created little by little, day by day. The recipients of this year's American Legion Award truly reflect the qualities that define character. They're kind, hardworking, and responsible eighth grader who honors and respects everybody, friends, classmates, teachers, and most of all, family. And getting to know her to see is to see the embodiment of nurture and closeness of strong familial roots. She's been instilled with the courage to try new things and doesn't mind getting her hands dirty in her openness to new experiences that life has to offer. She is a straight shooter whose personal integrity provides a consistent baseline in all that she does. She truly honors her friendships and relationships that she forges in her life. Her perspective on life is really captured in her chosen yearbook quote this year. I may not always win, I may, excuse me, I may not be the best, but I will never stop trying. This student has many passions, which she embraces and, and enjoys, from horseback riding, barrel racing, softball, to hunting and four-wheeling. And she works hard to improve through practice and demonstrates her sportsmanship and leadership through the competitive participation in these endeavors. She cares about her work beyond just the grade, and she strives for understanding to do the best she can. She cares about her community. She has great character. She knows it matters. Congratulations, Brooke Whitcomb. lovely great family members who we're so grateful to have as part of our Great Brook family. It has been our great honor to be graced with the presence of this 2020-21 recipient of the prestigious American Legion Award. We have been enveloped by this Bobcat's magnificent depth of character as roles of student, scholar, athlete, mentor, friend, and leader were carved out. As I speak directly to this honorable recipient, I tell a tale of a student held in high regard who rolls out the red carpet for all. Attention will be drawn to a few signature moments over the last 720 days as a treasured part of the Great Brook family to this year's recipient. We watched as you led the way in your quest for excellence while including a classmate in your group, quietly stepping aside to give others an opportunity to be included or being the last to leave the classroom or playing field to tackle one more task with determination. Because of you, we were reminded of the depth of commitment and amazing grace. We watched in awe as you escorted a distraught student to safety, lent a helping hand to an injured classmate, 
or offered a game of football to a group of admiring underclassmen. Because of you, we took notice that nobleness, compassion, and gracious leadership come from the heart. We watched with delight as you entered each day, sporting your love of Boston teams with a smile, a swagger, and a how you doing, <laughs> and darting about on the field as if each game had the value of a championship match on the parquet floor. Because of you, we learned to embrace all that we love, to dream big, and make the best of the talents we are given. We watched with reverence as you peered out our pod window at your friends in another pod, enjoying a game of basketball. Most may have, been, may have felt disappointed, and rightfully so, yet you proceeded to take on the role of commentator as you cheered them on from afar with the vigor of Tommy Heinsohn. Because of you, we had constant examples of magnificent positivity and courage as we were reminded to find all the goods. So long, farewell, a new journey begins. We'll cheer you on and hope you'll hear our thunderous applause because you are James Paul Healy. Can we have Brooke and James come on back up so you can get your certificate directly from the American Legion? I'd like to call up Ms. Carrie Gillespie and Ms. Siobhan LeClaire to, to read the announcements for the Francistown Town Awards. Hi, everyone. I haven't seen some of you in so long. I've missed you. So this is the Francistown Levi Woodbury Award. And the Woodbury Award celebrates the accomplishments of students hailing from Francistown, New Hampshire, the home of Levi Woodbury. Now, Levi Woodbury, as a young man from the rural farming community of Francistown, certainly demonstrated the possibilities that hard work and determination can lead to great things. He worked his way from a small town lawyer to New Hampshire Supreme Court Justice, New Hampshire Speaker of the House, and even Governor of New Hampshire. Having served his state, he turned his attention to serving in Washington, D.C. as a United States Senator when he was 35 years old. He was appointed as the Secretary of Navy by President Jackson and then Secretary of the Treasury by President Van Buren. Following this appointment, he returned to the U.S. Senate before his nomination to the Supreme Court by President Polk in 1845. He also nearly secured the nomination for president in 1848. In the history of the United States, Levi Woodbury, from our own small community of Francistown, is, on, is the only one of three people who served in all three branches of government at both the state and national level, a remarkable achievement. 
Levi Woodbury sought to instill the wondrous possibilities that education and self-motivation could bring to young people. And so he set up a trust to honor future students hailing from Francistown who reflect these efforts and ideals. This evening, the Woodbury Award is presented to a young woman and a young man whom I believe Mr. Woodbury would approve of. Our first recipient to be recognized for the Woodbury Award this evening is a young man who possesses many engaging qualities. One first notices the quiet confidence he exudes as he marches to his own beat. He is diplomatic and patient with others and often a good listener. With a great sense of humor, good-natured personality, and a warm smile when not covered by a mask. He makes friends wherever he goes. He cherish, cherishes his family, and together they strengthen each other. As a student, he asks questions in pursuit of understanding. He works diligently and shows care in his work, often going to the board to work a problem out for the class. His talents extend beyond the classroom, where he is a gifted athlete and leader on the field, the court, and the track. Congratulations to Kendrick Edwards. Our second student to be recognized with the Woodbury Award, Award is a remarkable young woman who has taken many opportunities that Great Brick School offers to expand her experiences and grow as a person. She has learned the skill of teamwork, problem solving, and time management through her participation in many different activities. She has participated in choir, chorale, costume design, recycling club, snow riders, cross country, track, and our theater productions. She has been a model student for other students in our class, her class, with her kindness and warmth that she carries with her throughout the day. Despite her full schedule, she always follows through to complete her assignments and many times goes above and beyond what is asked of her. She is willing to work with anyone. Her peers truly recognize her kindness and good nature as she has nurtured their friendships. Many, I suspect, will be lifelong. I know along with myself, many of us at Great Brook are excited to see the trail that she creates when she is at Conville. Congratulations to a remarkable young woman, Taylor Ouellette. Now Ms. Marianne Cullinan and Ms. Laura Gourlay will come up to give the Antrim Town Award. Good evening, I'm Laura Gourlay, and I will be presenting one of the Antrim Awards. The recognition and celebration of the achievements of a student from Antrim has been set forth by the enthusiastic Antrim Historical Society to a student who has demonstrated academic excellence and curiosity about the world around them. The aspirations of this student are also grounded in their appreciation for the history and legacy of the community of Antrim of which they are an important part. For any teacher or parent seated here this evening, the most meaningful compliments that one can hear about a young person are spoken by those who have experienced their presence, their sense of self in leaving a mark upon the community in which they have thrived. This year's first Antrim Award winner has attended Antrim schools since he was a young one and has achieved high grades throughout his time here. This outstanding bobcat has a self-awareness and acceptance not ordinary to a middle school student. He has been involved in many activities during his time here, track and field, cross country, theater productions, leadership, and ELP. He has always made it a point to do his best and is known as an ally and friend to many of our students. 
Some of the words used by teachers and staff to describe this person are leader, friendly, outgoing, joyful, problem solver, bright, pride, upstander, compassionate, empowered. When I think of him, this saying comes to mind. Unlike a drop of water which loses its identity when it joins the ocean, a person does not lose his being in the society in which he lives. We will be sad to see him leave GBS, but Conval will be lucky to have him. Congratulations, Ryan Whitney. Hello, I'm Marianne Cullinan, and I'm here to present the second Antrim Award. This is an epic tale of a young woman who overcame many personal trials to come to a happy ending here at Great Burke School. She has all the makings of a great hero. She's thoughtful, smart, a wonderful friend, extremely artistic, and not afraid to be herself. But... Like many stories, there was a plot twist, and what should have been our happy ending became a new trial. As a terrible plague swept the land, and our hero was forced to stay sequestered in her castle for over 400 days. But throughout this time, she never wavered in her commitment to furthering her education, staying connected to the community, and most importantly, keeping Mr. Bolduc in line. Now our hero emerges stronger than before, independent, thoughtful, smart, kind. The world is more beautiful with her art in it, and the community is better with her walking in it. Congratulations on completing this epic quest. We cannot wait to see where your next journey takes you, Kaylin Ross. Next, we have uh, Miss Allison Bell and Miss Terry Sittig giving the awards for the Bennington Town. Hi, I'm Allison Bell, and I'm reading the first um, award for Bennington. People in New Hampshire know Bennington as a small town along the Katukuk River with a rich history as a mill town. It is a town that employs many of its citizens at the Monadnock Paper Mill, a town that is home to the Crotchet Mountain Ski and Ride Resort, and home to the Commonplace Diner and Alberto's. Great Brook School knows Bennington through its bright and capable students who become an important part of our school community. This year, one of the students we are honoring from Bennington is an amazing eighth grader who quietly has taken this year's challenges and made them strengths. As for many students at Great Brook, this student was asked to be part of a small pod to leave some friendships behind, and to build new bonds, to stand on her own with confidence. This student never asked for an easy way out because of this year's circumstances. I remember at the beginning of the year when I told um, the students that some of the curriculum might be a little bit different. She asked why. She asked to please teach her what I would normally teach with extensions included. She made me reflect on my teaching and know that students could and should be challenged this year. She was up for it. This amazing student rose to the challenge, became a strong, confident student, one to ex exemplify a Great Brook Bobcat and an honorable Bennington student. This student values her family, her friends, her school community, and of course, her Bennington community. I will forever remember this student for her quiet way, 
for her respectful interactions and for her smile that showed through her mask. One of this year's Bennington Awards goes to Emma Reed. Hi, I'm Terry Siddig, and I'm going to present the next award for the Benin town of Bennington. Stretching with curiosity and responsibility, this bobcat reaches for their best self with wit and persistence. As he aims for success, he leaves a positive impact of admired knowledge kindness, and courageous independence. He is noted as calm and crafty through his drive and willpower. This year, we recognize Liam Richardson as an outstanding member of our community. And Liam is not here today, but I hope you're watching Liam. Congratulations. Next, we have Ms. Alexander Heatley and Ms. Victoria Burnham to give the award for the town of Hancock. Oh, it's so nice to see all of you here tonight. The Hancock Award reads as, Hancock was incorporated November 5th, 1779. Hancock is a quaint and historic community nestled in the Monadnock region and named for one of its original proprietors and first signer of the Declaration of Independence, John Hancock. W.W. Hayward has been quoted in an 1879 address as saying, no pleasanter homes can be found anywhere than here. No truer hearts, no better men and women. They make good citizens and good members of society. The same rings true today as the community continues its commitment to historic preservation, land protection, and education. Our first recipient. This recipient is a friendly and warm face in our GBS community. When presented with a challenge, she always accepts it, rises to the occasion, reflects upon her work, and seeks feedback. This is the sign of a true learner and qualities of a fine community member. Her love of animals has been a common thread to her community service efforts. She has spent countless hours volunteering in local barns and gardens. During her years at Great Brook, she has participated in basketball, soccer, softball, snow riders, corral, concert choir, leadership, and has been a member of the GBS Morning Show. Tonight's Hancock recipient, without a doubt, exemplifies what it means to be a Great Brook Bobcat. Never expecting anything in return, she is quick to jump in and help any student, friend, or staff member. She is inclusive and shows true compassion for others. I am happy to present this award to Hannah Daniels. Hello, I'm Victoria Burnham. <laughs> Sorry. Tonight's Hancock recipient, without a doubt, embodies the ideals of a true bobcat. Respect and responsibility are big parts of who he is. He's been at GBS a shorter time, a shorter amount of time than some of his peers. However, it didn't take him long to immerse himself in our school community. He quickly became a friend to all and an outstanding role model to the younger grades. Respect is the first word that comes to mind when thinking of this young man. He seems to embody this value. Peers, adults, and younger students alike can rely on him for kindness and empathy. Although it may seem like a small gesture, his friendly demeanor and saying thank you 
every time he leaves a classroom. <laughs> Dang it, I do. <laughs> stays in the hearts and minds of those who work with him. We wish you success and happiness in whatever you do. And thank you, Oren Gallagher. You have made an impact on us in a short amount of time. Great Brook School, as a learning community, is truly a special place. It is an environment which thrives upon the efforts of everyone within it, from our innovative teachers and staff, our wide-ranging, talented student body, to the rich support from attentive parents and the communities of our four towns. An important cultural goal for all of our students is to strive for their own peak in their learning success and to embrace safety, take responsibility for themselves and their choices, and to be respectful of everyone within our school community. We routinely applaud those students who live up to these aspirations throughout the year by presenting them with a special award called the Bobcat Award. For our eighth graders, with whom we have shared wonderful experiences over the past four years, the Bobcat Award truly is a recognition of a commitment to these ideals throughout their years with us. They grew into true role models for their peers and an asset to our whole community while they have been with us. This evening, I would like to recognize two students who embody these tenants. The first, a bobcat, is a person well loved by her community. A person of kindness and warmth, she is keenly aware of her own responsibility for the community that she helps to craft. This bobcat is soft-spoken, and she has trem a tremendous moral compass and a strong sense of self. She fully exercises her capacity to help and speak out on the behalf of others and actively works to mend conflicts. She has a striking amount of artistic talent, a strong academic drive, and a love for animals and equality. This bobcat is a true friend, a dependable classmate, a giving and thoughtful person, a responsible young adult, a curious learner, and a respected member of this eighth grade class. It is my pleasure to present this year's Bobcat Award to our own Lucy McClay. Our next eighth grade recipient for the Bobcat Award is presented to a Bobcat that quite literally moves to the beat of his own drum. Over the past four years, GBS has seen him blossom, excelling in music, theater, and academics. He has really grown into a responsible learner who works hard in and out of school. This Bobcat has a knack for teaching and consensus building. He naturally assumes the role of leader in situations, but leads by example charm, and a good sense in a way that makes people want to follow. I'm not sure he truly understands how beloved he is in his pod too by his classmates, teachers, and the younger students. Funny, humble, talented, hardworking, and with a style all his own, I am proud to present the Bobcat Award to Maddie Palmer. We will now have the presentation of the eighth grade community service medals. So I'm going to call up Katrina Young and Ellen Kidd. At Greybrook School, our students are asked to volunteer in the community and record their service hours. 
When these eighth graders entered GBS in fifth grade, the expectation was to complete 10 hours per year. During their four years here, this eighth grade class was remote for three and a half months of their seventh grade year and followed pandemic guidelines their eighth grade year, which has greatly impacted their ability to engage in the community. The students who will, who will be receiving a community service medal this evening have gone above and beyond and have given over 100 hours to our community. And we are proud to recognize their hard work and dedication to our school and community. I'm gonna call up all of the people who've earned over 100 hours of community service. You'll get your award and then you'll stand in the front. Please hold your applause until all names have been called. Sawyer Bouchard, Rayana Covey, Hannah Daniels, Griffin Delisle, Kendrick Edwards, James Healy, Ethan Holdridge, Owen Kaltzis, Jesse Kiblin, Matthew Palmer, Abigail Peters, Emma Reed, Liam Richardson, Nadia Solid, William Suhaki Saborski, Sierra Valley, Ariana Werner, Ryan Whitney, Lily Woodbury. The following students have earned over 125 hours of community service. Eileen Battaglia, Evan Charlone, Bryn Frosch, Jack Kidd, Mackenzie Noak, Lucy McClay. And finally, Honor Hagelberg has earned over 200 hours of community service. I'm gonna have Alexandra Heatley come up to read the awards for the Presidential Award for Academic Achievement. The purpose of this award is to recognize students who have shown outstanding educational growth, improvement, commitment to, or intellectual development in their academic subjects. These students have worked hard and have demonstrated their best effort in school consistently. This year, we are pleased to acknowledge the students who have qualified for this achievement. Once again, we ask you to hold your applause as we call these students forward, and you'll receive your certificates from Mrs. Foking. Kayla Bond, Honor Hagelberg, Christina Hall, 
Jack Kidd, Nick Manley, Sam Moritz, Donica Murdo, Brooke Wickham. This year we recognize students who have a very strong work ethic. Through their perseverance and hard work, they have man maintained a 3.8 or higher grade point average. They have produced work that truly reflects their personal best. They have met these requirements along with a teacher recommendation. It is with great pride that we acknowledge the following students with this outstanding academic achievement. It's a long list. Hold your applause. <laughs> Eliza Bull, Grayson Cahoon, Rayana Covey, Hannah Daniels, Eric Evans, Bryn Frosch, Colton Gernat Hemingway, James Healy, Mackenzie Noak, Lucy McClay, Taylor Willette, Matthew Palmer, Jahan Rashidi, Emma Reed, Kaylin Ross, Stephen Samard, William Samard, Annalise Strong, Sierra Valley, Ryan Whitney, Suki Zhang. microphone's better at this level. <laughs> Congratulations to our eighth grade. This concludes our evening. We're so proud of you. And it is so wonderful to have this evening to see all of you here in person. We have only been with one quarter of the school at any given time this year. So this is amazing for us. So thank you. So I'm going to ask our class eight to rise at this time. And please collect all your certificates. And you arrived tonight as eighth graders. And we're proud to announce you as members of the graduating class of 2025. You may press, process out. <laughs> <laughs> 